Hello and welcome to Be Madden Revit Tutorials. In today's tutorial, I would like to show you how to create elevation views using realistic style with watercolor effects. Here I will use texture uh, with watercolor effects and I will share links where you can download the texture. Also, I will share links with my previous tutorial on uh, how to make presentations of your facades in Revit in a very simple ways. Also, I will share uh, links where you can download the font, text font for uh, bird silhouettes. I used a textual font with bird silhouettes and later I will show you how to create bird silhouettes in Revit now. Here, important thing is uh, your wall need to be continuous horizontally and vertically, especially vertically. Here I have a uh, two, le uh, two level and my walls, exterior walls goes uh, on both levels. The reason is we want to see our textures uh, in realistic visual styles continuously. Uh, you can see the pre in presentations, you, you can see clearly, uh, more clearly what am I talking about. If you have experience in Revit, you already know what happened when we have uh, separated parts of uh, exterior visual presentations, when we add the material textures. Here I have some material textures I downloaded from internet and now we will start with facade uh, watercolor texture important thing is to when you scale your uh, imported texture you need to scale to change its size uh, uh, in that way that texture must be bigger than your walls. You can use this uh, this tool here when you turn on it will change the uh, height and width of your texture uh, automatically or you can turn off it and change the only height or only width of your texture. All right, from here you can uh, add white and gray colors on your texture and you can play with visual settings. Uh, I will leave it like this and now you can see uh, you have one very good watercolor effect realistic presentation of exterior wall the same will be in the elevation and section views. Now I will add other materials. I will add texture for other materials I used here. This is texture I used for stone because I have uh, stone elements on facade on facades and on columns. Uh, now I will add material for a roof. All right. As I said, you can uh, find link for these te textures in comments and descriptions of this video. All right, now I will add wooden elements, uh, texture for wooden elements. Here you can see our wood looks very good. From this side is very good also. And now I will show you how to create elevation view. I will turn on the realistic visual style. Uh, here I will deselect the depth of view 
all right later i will uh, edit again and this is sheet i added already a uh, elevation view i will add the background with watercolor effects also all right this is our watercolor background and now i need one uh, i will duplicate this elevation view and i will turn off everything beside background because i will need this elevation view for ground All right, I will add a texture for that I downloaded for ground. All right, and I will add this elevation view on sheet where our is realistic elevation view already it now I will change the crop view but before that I will turn off realistic I will change from realistic to hidden lines view the reason is a realistic view may makes my computer slower the, that's why I change it to hidden lines visual style and that's the reason why I turn off the uh, shadows and uh, depth view oh, sorry view depth all right and i will draw this uh, region crop region view only on uh, ground the reason why i choose this elevation view is because here i have a uh, slope uh, topography so this method gives me opportunity to change uh, ground in that way so it's follow the topography all right and now I will open our main elevation view and I will turn on the realistic visual style I will add shadows okay and now i will turn on the view depth all right it looks very good what's left here you can play with this settings here of view depth all right and now i will add the bird silhouettes as i already said uh, i use text with font where uh, we have uh, bird silhouettes by pressing the letters all right every letters means uh, a birds one of the bird silhouettes i have one tutorial uh, where i speak only about this topic i will share a link uh, of that tutorial in the descriptions and comments of this tutorial all right you can change the size of this silhouette by changing the size of the text and you can change color of the bird silhouettes by changing the color of text just by editing uh, text type right from here you can change size and from here you can change color all right now I will add I will copy this text and I will uh, make some adjustments here for example uh, uh, the birds that are near I uh, changed its color to uh, black 
and and the color of birds that has that are far i make the, the color of them uh, gray all right as you can see our 3d view is ready uh, the textures looks very good in 3d view also and i will show one method more one tip uh, more for you i will create new material for walls and here i will add zero so this material will appear uh, on the start of this material list and from here i will choose the texture with full, with watercolor effects for a new material just to uh, check is this texture same like uh, the texture i created before for this exterior walls okay the name is different all right all material and i will change its size as you can see automatically height and white it's changed all right and from here by ping you can uh, change the material just by clicking on the surface where you want to change the the material all right all right here we have that's what i'm uh, i uh, said in the uh, on the start of this tutorial this uh, problem appears sometime so we can we uh, need to make uh, texture size bigger than walls and also walls need to be continuous horizontally and vertically here i have exterior walls that's uh, on on that's uh, on two levels i have same wall family on two levels okay now i'll change the size a little bit more size of this texture and that's it all right all right now i will add i will use same method to add the materials on from this side and from this side also on all exterior walls all right that's it dear friends what's left uh, i will show you how to export this elevation view all right we are going on file export and i will export it as image okay from here i will change zoom in 100 and i will leave it to uh, 72 image quality all right and our image is exported from here I will open it and that's it this is our elevation view and it looks very good here I have more textures uh, I will share linked where you can download these textures if you want to use them uh, you can find find the link in comments and description of this video and dear friend that's all please don't forget to subscribe and to share my tutorials with your friends and colleagues see you in the next tutorial